Hey, what's going on, you guys? Back at you with a very special video. Now, this is Quavo and Lana Del Rey, and the song is Tough. Now, I don't know if these two are dating in real life or something like that, or if I've just been seeing memes about this video, but this video just came out. Um, so I've always, I've always, you know, Migos, Legends, I've always kind of liked Lana Del Rey, but uh, I had my, my heart broken by a chick that dressed exactly like Lana Del Rey when I was like 21, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. That doesn't matter. Let's let's dive into this. Uh, so please like the video, uh, sub to the channel. Appreciate you guys being here, and let's dive into it. Quavo and Lana Del Rey, tough. Very Lana esque. Damn, how's Quavo gonna come in on this? Trepping a trepping a trepping a whip it whip it. Damn, pulling up in the Hummer. Damn, dude. Wave honcho, dude. It's like, you think that's a big ass tree? Wait till you see my blunt. Oh, shit. Uh, Quavo's gonna be like, Lana, is that your trap how? She's gonna be like, Quavo, that's a church. She's like, oh, man, dope. Gonna do what it does. Sure is the good lords up above. Cut like a diamond shining in the rough. Tough. Come on, take a ride with me. Like the 808 mm. beating in the trunk in Atlanta. It was tough. It was kind of hard for me. Crawling through the mud, I couldn't find love. Then we came up. Look at what we are, baby. He had to go get himself some Hannah Montana, huh? Damn, dude. The red bone's gonna be kind of salty about it, but that's okay. If Quavo's gonna go get him some Hannah Montana, Rod Rodney will pick up the slack and go get some red bones, okay? I don't care if it's a yellow bone, a red bone, super thick, tatted up, skinny. I don't give a shit, dude. I'm here for all you, okay? Latinas, nutty liberal Latinas like AOC, far right Latinas, crazy conservative ones that get pregnant when you look at them. I love all the ladies. See, personally, I think we need to start putting this whole like gender turn each other apart. You know, like, ah, oh, men do this, ah, oh, women do this. Like, this is my peace offering, dude. I love all the shoties, the Hannah Montanas, all of them. But what, what's life without the shoties, dude? Shout out Quavo for, you know, Coming through in the sweating in the Hama. In the trunk in Atlanta, it was tough. It was Came through, he's like, I'm gonna hang out with some white bitches. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear some jean shorts. Come through and what I you know, her white dad be like, Oh, he was in the military. In the trunk in Atlanta, it was tough. It was kinda hard for me. Crawling through the mud, I couldn't find love. Then we came up. Look at what we are. That white tee's clean for crawling through the mud. I wonder if you had one of those moments, have you ever seen that black reporter where he's like, today we're reporting live from blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden the bug flies into his mouth. He's like, man, fuck this motherfucker, man. I'm tired of this country ass bumpkin shit. It's just really funny. Wow, we're never going to get through this video. Good times. Crawling through the mud, I couldn't find love. Then we came up. Look at what we are, baby. What if they're gonna go fucking that bush? Quavo probably told her, like, bitch, I don't kiss. <laughs> like, there you go. He's like, here, that's 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 more up my lane, Hannah Montana. Look at his face. He's like, yep. 
Scoo scoo. Tell me what it feel like. Take the smoke and the draw of y'all in the way you talk slow. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the songs oh, yeah. that your mom is saying to you. And the way that it makes you tell the truth. If you come. I was gonna grab that guitar. It's like, how do you, how do you make this thing say? Uh, I'm from where you come when you were born. Tough. It's like, is this bitch gonna get off me and stop getting off this thing and suck on these nuts or what? Seth, so look at that shotgun, dude. You think Quavo's gonna go out to the sticks and not be strapped? Come on, dude. You played yourself. Honestly, I'm cracking jokes, but it's like the thing that the media has really done is turn like country white people and black people really against each other. You know, like the elite white liberal people employed by the Jays, they're, you know, like if you really think about it, like rednecks and black people are like, they, they really get along, bro. We like the same shit. I've talked about this before. We like dirt bikes. We like guns. We go to church. We like barbecuing. We like being outside. We all just want to be left alone. We don't trust the government. We didn't get vaccinated. <laughs> We're the same fucking thing, dude. As though there's like this, the media has made it this whole like, oh, no, no, no. it's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, when we get together, just chill out in the country? Like, hell yeah, dude. That's where it's at. That's where, you know, like, the whole, like, segregation and, like, black people having to live in the inner cities, that's what's really, you know, caused a lot of... I mean, if, if you would take a bunch of, like, country white people and you, and you forced them to live in a small part of the city, it would be just as fucked up as the hood. It would be just as fucked up. Because we, we don't know how to... It's, it's, it's the same fucking thing, dude. There's no place to run. And then we go find Alana Del Rey. And it's swag. That's what he's going to do on her. F okay. take her to the hood and they're gonna run a train on her and then the dad's like just make sure to have the truck back by midnight meanwhile Quavo's just gonna be like selling bags out of it let's see what are the normies saying damn dude normal people who aren't fucked up Yeah. No, I mean, honestly, that was a cool collab, dude. I mean, this is a comedy channel. Take it with a grain of salt. My ripping on shit. I uh, wasn't actually making fun of it. I actually really liked the song. I'll probably go back and listen to it again, honestly, without my dumbass talking over it. I really liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was good for everything. I think it's a song that sounds like good for the world. <laughs> it's good, uh, you know, great production. Lana's voice was dope. She did her thing. Quavo came in there. I wish she did more scoot scoot. But, you know. We get more of that on other other records, so that's okay. At least we got one out of it. So, anyways, R.I.P. Takeoff, Migos, Legends, Lana Del Rey killed that. Uh, that was a great experience, and I'll see y'all. Thank you for watching this video. See y'all for the next one.